Professor Jonathan Turley, he is a law professor at George Washington University. He has been around for uh, quite some time. Um, back during the Bush years, he was um, he was a frequent guest, I think, on uh, on Keith Olbermann's show and other sort of left wing, uh, you know, shows uh, or anti Bush, I guess, shows as you you be more accurate, maybe to say for some people, and uh, and then somewhere around Obama, I think Obama broke his brain, and um, he became kookier and right wingier and nuttier sometimes that allure of becoming alan dershowitz becomes too strong right i mean who wouldn't want to be him now just because you're a law professor doesn't mean that you automatically know nothing about anything okay in other words like i can understand it if you're a law professor and you don't know anything about the basics of let's say medicine right because you're not a medical professor you know yes, like a, yes, or yes, a, yes. A, 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 yeah medical professor is that what they go you go to med school right but I don't think being a law professor means that you don't know some of the basics about U.S. history. That doesn't seem to... Usually there's somewhat of an overlap because the law is involved in pol U.S. politics and U.S. political history, certainly. Yeah, so my assumption is that, like, Turley knows his history. And so I was shocked by what he revealed to me in this uh, clip. He's talking about the... Um, Canadians who are protesting, I guess, vaccinations and the existence of uh, a government, I think, in Canada. I mean, the, and NASA as well. And, and, and NASA? And, and communists. Oh, yeah. and, and communists. Throw and, NASA in yeah. there, too. Probably NASA. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, and they uh, blocked the, um, uh, the bridge. Here's Jonathan Turley expressing his outrage. Now, let me just say before we play this. I, I find it a little appalling, the the ability for banks to freeze people's uh, accounts. I think that's super scary. I think it's absolutely Trudeau wrong. Trudeau should, yes, is in the wrong. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable with people calling them terrorists uh, because I just, I, th I think that word is um, uh, problematic, uh, at least in the hands of, of governments. But um, aside from that, let's hear uh, Jonathan Turley on Fox. To our Fox News contributor and George Washington law professor Jonathan Turley on this rapid expansion of Canadian government <laughs> powers. Dying to know what you thought of it, Jonathan. Pause it for one second. Well, I thought it was, hello, and I thought it was. The easiest way yeah. to sort of lead into that, like, <laughs> let me get sing songy, and we're watching uh, the Canadian government starting to freeze personal bank accounts. What do you think about starting this? to happen now. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Watch out. Yeah, I mean, the, the... It's so bad. I wonder if she has the ability to sort of like seamlessly move into, and Brad and, uh, you know, whoever the... And Angela, uh, what, what? Angela Jolie, I'm just trying to think like she could do like... Oh, uh, oh, she's like an entertainment Hollywood reporter. gossip, gotcha. like, oh, this is pretty spicy. I think she doesn't know the difference between like a story that's completely made up <laughs> where their outrage is completely fabricated versus one where there's a kernel of truth to exactly. it. Exactly. And right. there's like a Ron Burgundy element too, where she's reading the prompter, but she just went with that kind of happier tone right look who we've got here it's daytime programming they're executing people <laughs> on the streets what does jonathan turley think about that <laughs> all right go ahead. on this rapid expansion of canadian government <laughs> powers dying to know what you thought of it jonathan <laughs> hello well, I thought it was, hello, and I thought it was quite excessive. This is an act of civil disobedience. Uh, that is a standard tech tactic of uh, groups going back to the civil rights movement even earlier to block uh, bridges and streets uh, to do what was referred to as, quote, good trouble. And so the, the troubling aspect of what is coming out of the prime minister's office is that by this rationale, they could have cracked down on the civil rights movement. They could have arrested Martin Luther King. I mean, I think that the office needs to dial down, not just in this rhetoric, but it, the means that it is using. By freezing this money, what the government is doing is preventing other people from supporting okay, all right. protests. These are Canadian. I, mean, I am. I am. I never really contemplated the idea that this type of uh, that a government would, would, would arrest Martin Luther King. I mean, I I know that these folks are fighting for the civil rights of people who own 
uh, $65,000 trucks to not have to wear a mask, yes. But I hadn't really contemplated the idea that, I mean, can you imagine, had they uh, uh, arrested Martin Luther King? I know. And any of the civil rights people been arrested, that would have been appalling. Bradley, how many times did Martin Luther King not get arrested? Is there any way to Google that? We can find that out. I mean, wasn't he like he was given like a, 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 a medal of honor? Some speeding tickets. Maybe. Hmm. Speeding tickets. Okay. Well, here it is. Okay. Uh, what's oh, this? Ways. Arrests. That's plural. Wait, what? Uh, scroll. Okay. There's there. It's just one, two, uh, two. Okay. Three. Three. Uh, four. Uh, five. Mm. Hmm. Six. So let's see. Seven. That's uh, going to the eight. Uh, it turns out uh, Martin Luther King was arrested 29 times. Huh. Yep. Wow. I mean, but you have to be a history buff to know that. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to. I mean, who who could have ever imagined that Martin Luther King was was anything other than celebrated in his day? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, on, I, I, I don't know critical race theory, so I think that's part of why I was unaware. What um, can you play the footage of the water cannons that were used on those people on the bridge? Oh, it doesn't. OK, mm. sorry. Just do, do the one where they're getting beaten with batons. Uh, what about the one with the uh, German shepherds? Yeah. Hmm. No? Oh, all right. That's weird. Bradley, okay. you, why didn't you do your job today? You didn't get that footage. You didn't get that footage of the, the Canadian um, uh, F-450 owners uh, uh, getting uh, clubbed to death. Or not to death. Well, in some instances. Uh, but um, uh, good use. Uh, uh, Turley knew the good trouble uh, phrase. <laughs> Yes. He knew to invoke that in a disturbing and offensive way. Yeah. He didn't know basic history about Martin Luther King. Get the sense that one of his uh, third years are going to be uh, a little bit embarrassed when they uh, when he gets back from the studio and they say and, and he says somebody told me that Martin Luther King was arrested. Yeah, and, I, it went a little viral last night. And you know we have all come out and said we don't agree with what Trudeau's uh, the powers he's given to the banks. So we're standing up for the um, speech rights of uh, our enemies here. You never really hear that the other way around though. You never. Hear you're like, hey, maybe it's your guys' fault this is happening because you didn't stand up for when, for instance, BDS fundraising is attacked all the time. Right. You never, you never hear that lesson because I think like a lot of that is mainly less about like um, uh, getting the left to be better about free speech and more about blaming them for when their roll-up actually comes. Well said.